it would have seems that Nintendo had a lot of money to spend on lawyer instead of creating a better game because they are going after any YouTube channel that is using of game emulator or even indie company that use any game mechanic that is considered too common yet somehow someway somewhat Nintendo have the patent right to it and talk about the game company that hope to bring smile to generation hello there how's today i'm Mika Kita there. and i keep you not all right if i mean like sure today random child we are going to talk about nintendo sure we can be talking about the patent right they have on their hand we're sure we can be talking about how they are going after youtuber that is making use of gaming emulator but the one thing i really can you know they really put in there about nintendo creating smile for generation and they even dare to admit that they are hoping that to put smile on the faces of everyone we touch well I guess that they are now finally admitting that they are putting the smile on their own face, not the face of people who enjoy Nintendo game. Because if Charlie Penguin Z Zero or aka most critical can pull out Nintendo being evil again, yeah, that seems to tell you a lot of story. Because the thing is, right, from what I do know, recent situation is that apparently Nintendo go and copyright strike or going sending letter to a lot of places in like any place that great gaming emulator, more so if it actually including the Nintendo OP. S. So the thing is, right, when they are going after all those people who are actually creating emulator of the old past, like things that people are hoping to preserve or people who wish to have that nostalgic moment, the, the those games that help to put the spot on there when they were young, yeah, it's a crazy that Nintendo just said, no, you guys are not going to have that. You guys are going to just pay for it. And yet, at the same time, Nintendo don't even bother to even create their own emulator or even trying to bring out old games that all they need to do is just remake it or remaster it and it's going to be getting a lot of fans. Like, dude, it's crazy they're going after emulator when it's considered technically is legal. It's not illegal at all. Unless the person, I, I mean, I'm sure it may be on the gray area where there is a little bit of the issue of piracy. And that is something that I myself, one of the reasons why I did not download the emulator, because if I'm not going to pay for it, I can see why Nintendo may go after me if I do instead I'll never play an old Nintendo 64 game or of the GameCube era game. And I really admit that I got two games that I've been really, really wanting to play that is like almost 20, like one is already over 20 years old and one is almost 20 years old. And I'm referring to Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon SD. Two games that was, one of them was released in 2003 or 2004 if you're using the English version. As well as that one is in the 2005, which means that Pokemon SD is considered the pre uh, the considered the success sequence to Pokemon Coliseum because that is like the game that helped to put a smile on my face because that is one of the games that I like. This is one of the games that I used to play a lot. It's a game that I have to take my time to ensure that if I gonna play, I have to not let anyone know, including my own parents. So the thing is, right? It's really one of the era that GameCube itself is really one of the old games that I love so much. And that in order to play it, there's no more GameCube. There's no more way to get a working GameCube in this era because Nintendo stopped making it. Nintendo stopped having it. And there's just no way to have the game at all. So the thing is, right? Nintendo is instead of like porting it to nintendo switch saying that hey you know what let's bring it to switch uh let's make you pay even more to have the game even if you pay for the s for the gamecube era even if you pay for the gamecube even if you pay for the um the game physical game copy itself we are not gonna let you have that playable in switch we're gonna make it that Pull it in over like all they need to do is that if they actually bring it like bring it into 
switch like if i have to pay 40 50 dollars for it so be it 60 70 well i will still consider but it's not under impossible because the thing is right it's really one of the old game that got me into really liking pokemon even though my first pokemon game was pokemon rain the one thing a lot of people need to understand that it's really one of the game that is released like 20 years past already and obviously it is something that i love a lot and yet there is no way for me to play the game because there's no more working game queue in this era unless it, by some miracle defined power that my game queue start working then i'm able to play the game along the line and even if i got a wii i'm not even sure the wii is still able to wheel along the line so the thing is right it's really really frustrating that if i want to play this game the only way is only through an emulator which nintendo is really against it and i can see why because when it's crossing the gray area of piracy then there's something that we have to address but the one thing is right while nintendo have people out there creating the emulator and hoping to bring in more fan for nintendo nintendo just say no we're gonna send you a, lo a lawyer letter suing the hell out of you and make you stop it like dude i actually agree with um Mustafa hassan saying that they are crazy that they are actually that like the emulate the people who are creating an emulator is creating in good faith to help people be aware of old nintendo game that why a lot of people nowadays love nintendo game why people became a fan of nintendo game is because of those old game and i always love the older pokemon version game i love a, a lot of nintendo game and yet it's now changed over the year that sometimes you know like the little heat of nostalgia is always go a long way and all nintendo need to do is just instead of suing the hell out of others all they need to do is just say hey you know what can i get you to work with us it's like dude i don't understand who is working at nintendo i have no idea how how much of an ancient fossil is now in Nintendo right now? I had no idea how much of an ancient mindset they have right now. Like, all they need to do is, if they got someone who is able to create a Switch emulator, or maybe someone who is able to create old game emulator, instead of asking them to work with them, with Nintendo, they sue them? Like, dude, someone is able to create an emulator, because they can do it, they got the talent to do it, they got the ability to do it, and if that person is such a talented person now, the first thing if I'm going after is not sending a freaking lawyer letter. I may actually should be sending a hiring letter or offer to get him on board with Nintendo to help bring the emulator into Nintendo itself and get it into a pub working public prototype and that should be the way to go but nintendo just say that no 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 one should step into the ip of nintendo yeah i think that when when charlie actually said that miho is being evil or that nintendo is killing emulator yeah i actually agree with them because the thing is right the only way to get old games or games that nintendo can't like freaking hell like dude a lot of people need to understand that gamecube era the gamecube era is after the nintendo 64 era but before the freaking wii era hell anyone who remember wii u that is like the wii u the wii 2 version or the is wii is after Wii version so you have to understand that gamecube is like 20 plus 20, 25 years old and yet the only way to get the game that i like so much is actually is true emulator and nintendo say no you can't have it so i guess that one of the games that i used to play a lot there's no way for me to play because unless like i mentioned unless by miracle or if uh that uh define power a lot my game here to work if not this is just basically a pipe dream at this point of time the one of the uh, issue that i have with nintendo is that they could have actually even if they really really want to go with it they can just kind of say you know what let's re-release re a gamecube with modern graphic card with modern processor with 
and people will still crazy light up and buy it you know like people will still try to get it because it, it doesn't matter it is if it's not switch or even if nintendo want to release switch 2 and they have no ability to do so like sony is able to release playstation 1 playstation 2 again like years after it uh it got phased out because of playstation 3 playstation 4 playstation 5 and nintendo decided to say hey no let's just bring everything into switch and you know what if this is a game that they wish to forget yeah it really being forgotten because a lot even if they put it within their history books it still seems that because the graph like from what i do know pokemon coliseum and pokemon sds actually do have a little bit of considered matured content and when i say matured content it's really not about like they go and do something yabai it's actually more so on the translation which is considered yabai so i have no idea how that is gonna work but the one thing that really got me pissed off is that nintendo killing emulator is just trying to instead of like working with emulator this because the thing is right from how i look at it emulator is can be considered a free marketing if nintendo work as exactly as what i say if they get the talent on board as well as that instead of like striking down channel indicating that um they are making emulator instead of taking it that hey you know what let's get you on board May maybe consider helping us with a, a, a switch to design along the line or maybe along the line of that you come up with more of it you 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 mention nintendo more and we and we get more fan you get more fan we have you on a win-win situation instead they just say no nintendo must be the winner always so in a way the smile is really for them not for others because it's kind of like getting more and more people question like the thing is right it's really getting more and more people frustrated people like a lot of people really enjoy nintendo game i enjoy nintendo game and yet nintendo is not allowing gamers to have a smile it's like they're trying to create smile for generation but dude i feel like they should be saying like bring creating fun for everyone creating loyal letter for anyone going against them at this point of time and yet it's not the only thing that the emulator that is creating trouble previously i covered the power and pokemon which now i'm gonna mention it is that i say that if power pocket pad decided to counter sue they can go after nintendo like they can go after i talk about that in my video i will mention it again Nintendo has too many patient, pay, uh, pattern that is crazy that how can they actually have the right to all those? And yet, all those are considered common gaming mechanic. Yet, somehow, somewhere, somewhere, Nintendo is saying that they have the unique right to it. So, I will address to you guys to go and take a look at Bloody Book channel where he actually did a video called nintendo had official lost it it's a very short six minute plus video and i will recommend you guys looking at it link in the description below because it actually mentioned in a very simplified version about how the all those like what kind of pattern work even master hassan actually mentioned it about if even nintendo trying to have the pattern right on a mounting system which a lot of game mmorpg game like every other game out there already have a mounting system all you need to do is the character just sit on the freaking horse sit on the freaking dragon sit on the freaking monster and voila and pokemon just say that yep we have a pattern right for it yeah it's really really crazy that nintendo can just go after any company and apparently they got the patent right to it the reason why they never really go after big company but instead small indie company is that indie company don't have the resources to go and sue them back but big company have and even if they decide to sue the only issue is that how much will they sue because if ML Gold was able to say that uh, Sony is F, because Sony have a new game called the Astro Ball, which the gameplay is so, 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 so extremely similar to Nintendo Super Mario Galaxy. Yeah. That's say a lot, right? Because if Sony is able to do so, and then 
Nintendo decided to do so. I would love to see a Sony versus Nintendo patent infringement right lawsuit. And that would be so satisfying that all I need to do is just ensure that I get some popcorn, camera favorite, that's my favorite, and some coke to drink along. But then again, hey, that's just all my speculation. Just a speculative thought, just a random chat. If you have your own thought, your own view, your own take, write in the comment below, share your thoughts, write how you view. If not, whether you agree or disagree, also write it down. But if not, if you do like this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe for more random chat where I talk about stuff that sometimes makes sense, doesn't make sense, or totally random at a time, be it game, anime, manga, or even VTubers. But the one thing that is totally not random, and I really hope so, is that I hope you guys have a nice day or night. Bye.